Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and I want to do a quick tutorial, and it's a response to a video we posted, and the video was of our hangout where we did our bone rigging of our Pepper character uh, using the Bone Deformer tool in Harmony Essentials, and pretty much it works the same in all the other versions of Harmony. And I got this question, awesome video, Thank you. Have been having lots of fun using the bone rigs, but I am using Harmony Essentials and I was looking to find a way to make something fade in and out using opacity like you might in Premiere or After Effects. In the end, I had to export the animation and use After Effects to make it fade in and out. Signed, uh, I'm going to call this Adonix, Adonix, Edonix, one of those. Please forgive me. Anyway, uh, so. Yes, there is a way to do this without doing it in After Effects or Premiere. Uh, and yes, I'm in Stage uh, Harmony Essentials. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, one, get rid of my text here. And again, this is our little Pepper character. And if you missed it, we did do a live Google Hangout where we rigged this entire character and did this cute little animation of dude just kind of moving around and blinking and all the other stuff, uh, but using the bone deformers. Uh, but enough about that. We got the question about how would you do transparency? Now, um, if you're familiar with Photoshop, you normally see a little checkerboard. Uh, this checkerboard is not in Toon Boom. I just dragged in an image. So I wanted to do that so you can see what I'm about to do. All right. Now, uh, I've got my entire puppet here, the pepper, the pepper rig, the puppet of uh, the pepper rig that is on a peg. I'm going to say that a lot of times. Uh, so you can see all of this expanded. We've got, uh, our bones and everything happening, but I'm not really worried about that right now. I'm going to go ahead and collapse the peg here. And if it's just a drawing, you can do this with just a drawing layer, but I'm showing you at this point, how you would go ahead and do this with a full puppet. Um, as I saw in the video that, um, Adonix sent and it was a full puppet. So I want to show you how you would go about doing this. I'm going to right click on my peg and I want to group the selection. Okay. So it is grouped. And the next thing I want to do, I'm going to go to add a layer and I'm going to come down to effects and go to transparency. Okay. Now, if you look all of a sudden, it looks like one, only one piece went kind of transparent right there. Not exactly what we want. So I'm going to undo that. Let's do command Z control Z on PC. So this time I'm not selecting a layer at all. And I'll again go to add a layer, effects, transparency. And now what I want to do is I can see this little star guy right on my timeline. I'm going to click and drag this right under my pepper group here. And I can see that little line once I see that line, it lets me know it's going to parent right under there. And if you look, we see all of a sudden that our character is transparent. But you know what? This this looks a little messy. Wouldn't you agree? It's like, um, yeah, it's like each individual layer is transparent. And um, you can actually see how the, how the character is actually cut up. And that's not actually what we want either. So how do you fix this? Technically, there's nothing wrong, but the transparency effect, um, as well as things like glow or blur, there are things that have to be rendered out for you to actually see them. Now, do we have to render out the entire animation to see this? No. What I want to do is simply come down here on the base of my timeline or right above my timeline. And I want to click this little flower that says render view. All right, so I'm going to click this just once. 
And it now shows me what our character looks like. And if you look at it here, it is nicely transparent. Okay. And so you don't see how it's all divided up. And I know what you're thinking, Tony, I don't want it that transparent. I only want it a little bit transparent. And for those of you who aren't thinking that you're thinking, but I want it more transparent than that. What do I do then? Huh? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Sorry. Anyway, um, here's how you change that. I'm going to simply double click on the transparency layer. By default, it is showing you 50. I'm going to type in 10. Okay. So it's only 10% transparent. Okay. Let's type back in 50. That's 50%. What about 70? Okay. So the higher the number, if it's 100% transparent, it is invisible. So maybe 90. Okay. Now here's the thing. Let's go ahead and make this, let's say zero to start. So it is completely opaque. So we'll click. Okay. And I want to make sure, turn on my animate button. And I'm going to set a keyframe on frame one. And let's say we'll go to frame 10. Insert another keyframe. So I'll come over and double click on my transparency layer. And if you look, we can't actually type in anything different. But what I want to do is click this little icon here. And it's going to open up our Bezier editor. Bezier, Bezier, Bezier. And what I'll do at this point is I'll select frame 10 here, this little square. I'm going to go to my value and I'll simply type in 60. Press enter or return. And so we see on our camera view that our pepper is transparent. And if I look at the top here, these are the frames because we're on frame 10. So if I click the playhead to be at eight or six or four, you see that the transparency is actually fading over time. All right, once you're done, go ahead and click close and close again. So there you have it. That's how you would do transparency and Toon Boom Harmony Essentials as well as Toon Boom Harmony Advanced. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go back to my normal view. And if you'd like to get this pepper rig and kind of play around with it for yourself, you can get this for free, absolutely free. And what you would do is simply go to our Selfie store. And that Selfie, S-E-L-L-F-Y dot com slash Tony Teach. And you can go right here and grab the pepper rig. So if we click to download this, the only thing you would need to do is simply share and download. So if you tweet about this, you can download it for free. However, if you'd like to actually give Tony Teach a small donation of $10, you can do that too and also download it. Either way, it's cool. And one other thing I want to let you know, we are in the process of releasing our latest tutorial, our training title. Uh, this is going to be the anatomy of a 30 second short volume three, and it's of our character camper, the intergalactic bounty hunter. And we're going to be releasing this next week. Uh, and you can get this right now. You can pre-order it for $29 when it's released next week, it will be $99. So if you'd like to get that, that'd be kind of cool. And there's also a bonus if you actually get the pre-sale. There's detailed tutorials, about an hour's worth of tutorials on what we did to rig the pepper. So this has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. 
make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.